going to tie a brown woolly bugger. Got this hackle. This is what we call a brown, brown furnace hackle because it's got the dark. Plain brown will be fine. Wait. But we're going to make a woolly bugger. We need a tail. Got ahead of myself. This is a we call this marabou, but actually this is off. This is from turkeys, from white turkeys that have been dyed. We're not we're not uh, su uh, subsidizing people who are killing marabou storks or something like that. That that's not legal. This this is turkey feather. We call it marabou though. After the marabou, after the marabou stork. Cut this to length. Attach it. Don't want it too long. It needs to be long enough to tantalize the fish, but not so long that uh, they just bite the tail and don't get the hook. Put the hackle on. Now we need to attach the chenille. Take a little bit of the chenille off the thread core so we can we're tied to the thread core if we tied it on without doing that then we'd have a lump at the back a, a hump and we don't want a hump there spiral it to the front let it hang nice tight turns you want to tie everything tight but don't of course you don't want to break anything but you don't want it sloppy either Tie that off. Three or four wraps. With small flies, you have to be more economical with the wraps. Use fewer wraps because it, it builds up bulk. First turn behind, near the back rather, and then spiral to the front. This feather is long enough to do without the hackle pliers, but I almost didn't make it. Secure that. Trim. Cover the head up nice. Again, you'd use fewer wraps if it was a small fly. Do the whip finish. There's a brown woolly bugger. This will catch trout. It will catch a variety of fish. Looks a little bit like a leech in the water or maybe a maybe a dragonfly nymph, something like that. That's a, this is a size 6. Uh, for trout, I like maybe a smaller size. Okay. Okay, so we're going to tie one of these. Woolly bugger. Okay. I'll put the hook on. So that's parallel. You're gonna, are you gonna, you're gonna tie it better than Xander did. No. Do, do better than Xander. Yeah, that's gonna be hard to do. It's a different fly, of course. It's different. So I believe in you. All right. Let's. Uh, it's a lot better if you. If you if you tie with a smaller smaller uh, diameter uh, rotation, yeah, it was quicker. It was stuck. It wouldn't wouldn't come off. Can we go around the other way? Okay. Okay. So I think. How's it doing so far? Well, he hasn't ruined it yet. I think I do this one next. Okay, I'm trimming off, doing the trim, so I can get ready to tie it on. Wow. And look at, look at your, okay. So here we go. Now, Rich, you're, 
you're that's a pedestal but you're moving the whole vice rich it's too much power all right a little bit of finesse okay now check your check your check your pattern rich check look at the fly yeah, look, 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 look at the, the original look see. at the original rich oh is that just a pinch <laughs> oh that's just a pinch all right okay this pinch thing is that's new so for me. probably what you should do is just it just pinch it, pinch a bunch, and pull it off the side of it. All right, okay, okay. Okay, but that's a but that's a natural. I was, I was wondering, how, man, that is just <laughs> a little big. Yep. Okay. All right, this is gonna be way easier then. I don't don't give him too much trouble. Bro. All right. Hey, I can do this now. Okay. Keep a little bit more. Yeah, you can make you can make it. Uh, a little fluffier than you think it ought to be because maybe a little more than that because when it gets wet it, it won't be as bulky and you want it you want it to to be wiggling right in that fish's face the fish fish go crazy with that stuff okay that look okay that's really close to what you've got it looks like yeah all right now for length be, be sure you have the length right well i can trim that can i or do i trim you, you get you have to trim it first I'll trim, <laughs> okay. Okay. okay so it looks like we're about Maybe just a little more. Even a little more. Just hold it up right, right hold it up right over the hook there and, okay. and and take your right hand and hold it and hold hold it like that and see how it is for length. That's still a little long, isn't it? Yeah. The tendency is to make it too long. If it's too long, not only would it look look a little bit different, but but the, the fish will follow up behind and they'll just bite the tail of it and there you go. So that's even a little too long. All right, so I'll cut a little more off. I think we're good. Yeah, I'm gonna call that good. Yeah, it's, it's not, it's, the length is not critical. Tie. So this is chenille? That's chenille, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to tie that on. And I'm going to wrap it. What do you think, Xander? I think you forgot it's, to it's, move the string. It's a, nice, it's, it's a nice even body, but the, you have to Move the thread forward. Uh, okay. Oh, to tie it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Shorten up on your on your turns, and it's a lot easier. There we go. Okay, I want to wrap it. What do you think, Xander? I actually want to go here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that looks better. Yeah. yeah I just felt awkward. It's like, hey, this isn't working. I told you I was out of practice. Well, a little more. Oh, I should start. What well, can I do it here and go back? I don't know. We're, le we're letting we're letting you do oh, this. Oh man! Learn naturally. What? Or I put that on before I put this on. I think so. Pick pick up the pick up your example and see. Yeah, I can't tell from here. But that makes sense. That would have made sense. Then I could have gone around. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm done. Well, let's see. I can. I have to. I have to untie. Right. No. What? No. Wait a minute. Dude. There's two ways you can do this. You could unwrap it, or you could just spiral it back to the back and tie it on, and the thread maybe won't show. That's, that's, yeah, I was thinking, like, I'm kind of stuck since I didn't do it yeah. up front, so I could tie it here. Yeah, don't tie it there, no. Wrap the oh. string back to the back oh, of oh, the thing. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. 
See, that kind of crumps it down, but that's probably... Okay. Right. Okay. And now I can tie this on. I should have tied... This should have been two, the second feather on. We'll have a little bit of, a little bit of, oh, there we go. That's how it was supposed to work. Xander's smiling now. You better think about it a minute. Yeah, I know, because this needs to be, this string needs to be in front. There you go. Oh, that's what that's. All right. We're giving you a hard time, Richard. This, this is so. This is so. People can see on the video how that it, that uh, that it's not easy to do. I'm gonna save this. This will might be my example of saving a fly you messed well, up. You're you're a good sport, Rich. In spite of in spite of what the, the teasing that Xander and I are giving you, because we're letting you make the mistakes that that a lot of beginners make. So this is this is. Uh, Okay, now just the whip finish. That easy part. Now what do you think? What do you think, Xander? Huh? Probably trim the feather off first. Oh, uh, that would probably. Yeah, yep. yeah. <laughs> it might work, but. Yeah, it got in the way. All right, let's try again. Oh, where am I? I gotta start over. Okay, on top, there, and flip it over. That goes on top. There we go. All right. One, two, three, four, five. I slip that off. You can hardly tell I really messed this up. There, that. As a friend of mine said, he said, "Now take it out and let's take it out like a." He he, he said, "It's oh, been gee. it's been a long journey." He said. Oh gee, that one hurt. Okay, yeah, that's we got a little we got a little. There's a little different. I'm noticing a little difference. 